Hi everybody, welcome to Cardiologist. This is the fourth exercise in this course, and here we will try mainly to practice ellipse tool from draw panel, polar array from modify panel, and other tools I already spoke about before. If you have doubts about any tools function, I advise you to watch tutorials 1 to 6. If you are serious about learning AutoCAD and other engineering software, then you want to smash the subscription button and gently tap that little bell. Also, check out the timestamps and chapters below in the video timeline. Use them to skip around to the section most relevant to you. But if you are a beginner in this software, I advise you to watch the whole way through. In this video, we will draw and dimension together this object. When you open AutoCAD, click on Start Drawing from the interface. If the grid is activated, turn it off from the status bar or use F7 key to turn it off and on. Type units in the command line and make sure Drawing units type is decimal, precision is zero, Draw units is millimeter. Type LA to open Layer Properties Manager and create a layer named Object. Create another layer for dimensioning. Change the dimension layer color to gray number 8. Double click the object layer to set it as the current layer, then close Layer Properties Manager. Make sure Ortho Mode is activated. Click on this little arrow of OSNAP and check Endpoint, Midpoint, Center Point, Quadrant, and Perpendicular Mode. Before you start drawing, be sure to save the file and keep doing that from time to time to avoid losing your drawing and effort by mistake. If you are saving for the first time, click on Save from the Quick Access Toolbar. Choose the file location and type the name, then click on save. Click on the application button, click on options, go to open and save tab. In the file safety precautions, make sure automatic save is checked and at every 10 minutes. Moreover, you can click on Ctrl plus S to save your progress anytime you want. Type C for circle and click on space. Specify the center point anywhere in the drawing area. Type D to specify the diameter. Type 200 and click on space to end the command. Click on this little arrow of ellipse tool from draw panel. Select axis and end. Move the cursor close to the circle and snap this quadrant mark to specify the ellipse axis endpoint. Specify the other endpoint at 130 mm in this direction. Specify the other axis distance 20 mm and click on space to end the command. Select the ellipse, click on this little arrow of array tool from modify panel. Choose polar array. Snap the circle center point mark for the array base and the array creation tab. Make sure items are 6 and between is 60 and click on close array. Select the array, type X for explode and hit space. Cross select the ellipses, zoom in with the mouse scroll wheel and activate the trim tool from modify panel. Follow me exactly trimming these parts. Hit enter to end the command and reselect all ellipses again. Click and hold the shift key along with the mouse left button to deselect these two ellipses, then delete the others. Select the remaining ellipses and click on polar array. Specify array center point here and click on space. Select the circle and make offset of 95 mm inward. Draw a polyline from the center point mark and downward 240 mm. Select the line and do a polar array around this point. 
change items value to three lines. If you click on tab, you would notice that the angle between those lines is changed to 120 degrees. Click on close array. Activate polyline and connect the lines together. To have this triangle, then delete the lines. Make a copy of the triangle 500 mm left. Select this triangle. If you move the cursor over this mark, a list of three options will appear. Click on Convert to Arc. Specify the arc segment midpoint perpendicular to the circle. Do the same for the other sides. Type FIL for fillet command. Type R for radius, then type 15 mm for fillet radius. Click on multiple and fillet this corner, this corner, and this corner. Draw a circle of 15 mm in diameter at this center point mark. Select the circle and activate polar array at this point. Change items value to 3 and click on close array. Move this triangle back 500 mm to the right. Select it and change its color to gray number 8 from the properties palette, which can be accessed through Ctrl plus 1. Type LT in the command line and hit space. In the line type manager, click on load. Scroll down until you find dash dot. Click on OK. OK again. Now select the triangle again. Go to line type in the properties palette and you will see the type dash dot. Click on offset tool from modify panel. Select through and specify the through point at this endpoint mark. Finally, delete this triangle and let's start dimensioning. Offset this triangle a distance of 20 mm just for dimensioning purpose. From properties, change the layer to dim for dimensioning. Type D and hit space to open dimension style manager. Click on New and type DEM02, then continue. In the Lines tab, make sure baseline spacing is 3.75, extend beyond dimension lines 1.25, offset from original 1. In the Symbols and Arrows tab, change arrow size to 1.8, make sure dimension break size is 3.75, and go to Text tab. Change text height to 1.8. In the text placement field, make sure vertical is set to above and horizontal is set to centered. Change offset from dimension line to 1. In the text alignment field, check aligned with dimension line. In the fit tab, make sure overall scale is selected and the value is 2. In the primary units, Set the precision of linear dimensions to 0 and the same for angular dimensions. Click OK. Close. Go to Annotate tab and click on this little arrow to choose aligned dimension. Dimension this side. This side. And this side. Choose radius dimension from the list. Select this arc and place the dimension somewhere here. Click on space to repeat the command and dimension the circle. Repeat radius dimension for the other two corners. Delete the reference triangle where we need it no more. Type DIMD for diameter dimension 
select this circle and place the dimension here. Type DAL for align dimension command, measure this length, this length, and this length. Now we need to prepare the sheet to print the drawing. Go to layout sheet, select the existing viewport and delete it. Right click layout 1 and rename it to exercise 04. Right click exercise 04 and go to page setup manager, where we can set the sheet size, orientation, quality and many other things. Click on modify, change the printer name to DWG to PDF. Make sure the paper size ISO full plate A4 is selected. Check scale line weight. Make sure landscape orientation is selected. Then click on OK and close. Type V port and hit space. Choose single and click OK. The command line is asking to specify the first corner or just click on space for fit. If you go to layer properties manager, you could see a layer created automatically and named dev points. It was generated when the first dimension was created in the drawing. This layer is unprintable and stores information about definition points of dimensions. It's usually used for the viewports and for any detail in the drawing you don't want to print. So, select the viewport and go to properties, then change its layer to div points. Now to print the drawing, we need to insert the title block we created together in tutorial 8 of this course. Remember, title block is a template for the sheet you want to print and it includes important information to identify the drawing. So, I will open exercise 01 that we did in tutorial 8 and copy the title block from there. Select the title block and its content. Type CO and select copy base. Specify the base point as mentioned in the command line. Click on this mark and go to exercise 04. Click on Ctrl plus V for paste command and place the title block at this endpoint mark. Select the viewport and adjust the boundaries to be inside the title block. Click on scale from the status bar and check 1 to 2. This will minimize the drawn objects twice to fit it inside the A4 sheet. Double click inside the viewport, then click and hold the mouse scroll wheel to move the drawing to this corner. If the scale is changed while moving, you could simply adjust it back as we did before. Finally, click on the lock sign to lock the viewport and prevent any changes for the scale. If the title block includes a logo and for some reason the logo disappears when you copy the title block from one drawing to another, we can help AutoCAD to locate the logo and resolve this issue by using the XREF command. This is my logo and the status shows that it's not found. Click it twice, locate your logo and click on open. Change the drawing title to tutorial 11 dash exercise 04. Change the scale to 1 to 2. Change the date and the drawing number to yt dash cad dash TT11-EX-004 Click on Ctrl plus P to open plot setting. If this window pops up, just click on Escape button. Click on Preview to check out the drawing before making the printout. Click on Print. Choose a folder. Type the file name. and click on save. In this tutorial, you practiced polar array and ellipse tools, among other commands I spoke about in previous tutorials. 
Again, I want you guys to know that I purposely try to execute the commands from the ribbon as well as using the shortcuts in order for you to be more familiar with the tool's locations on the interface. If you have doubts about any command, you can always go back to the previous tutorials, specifically tutorials 1 to 6 to learn more about it. And I know that time comes at a cost, that's why I left you timestamps in the video's timeline so you can skip around to any chapter or subject you want to revise. Remember to subscribe to the channel and click on the alert button to stay updated.